So total within the last 30 days, I made $16,208.27. That's more than what a lot, that's more than minimum wage in a whole year, right? So turning an annual income into a monthly income. What's going on fam, Eric Ellis here and in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make $100 to $300 per day as a complete brand new beginner and if you guys want proof, let me go ahead and actually show you guys how much money I'm making with affiliate marketing. So why should you actually listen to me when it comes to making money online? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Boom, we're behind the laptop. Tuesday, June 25th, 2019 is today's current date. So in one of my main affiliate income streams today, I made $1,997 over the course of the last four weeks. I made $8,986 as a click funnels affiliate within the last 30 days. I made $1,328.27 uh, with PayPal. I made just over $5,000. So from June 6th to June 24th, 1000 to 1000 2997 uh, with an additional income stream, I made $748 on June 16th, $98 on May 26th, and as stated before, uh, that's basically June 26th will be the last cutoff date. So total within the last 30 days, I made $16,208.27. That's more than what a lot, that's more than minimum wage in a whole year, right? So turning an annual income into a monthly income. That's why you should listen to me. So let's carry on. So with that being said, this is a realistic business model. This is something that you guys can get started with. Obviously I've been doing it for a long period of time, so it's not gonna happen overnight, but these are the foundational principles that you're gonna need to actually start an affiliate marketing business. So first and foremost, before I get into the content, if you guys like videos about making money online, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell. So that way you guys can get notified every time I drop some new heat. And if you guys want to um, uh, show your boys some love, go ahead and hit that like button. So let's step behind the laptop. Boom. Now guys, I said before, what we're going to do is we're going to cover affiliate marketing for beginners. So the first question that I have is what is affiliate marketing, right? Guys, affiliate marketing is simply you are the professional middleman. You get paid to refer other people's products. For example, let's just say you go online and you're searching uh, or you're trying to solve a specific problem, right? And somebody has a pro uh, product that can solve that problem. For example, let's just say you're looking to lose a little bit of weight or you're looking, looking to shred a couple of pounds for all my ladies out there, woo woo, right? Let's just say that's the case, right? You might go online, you might search for that. Now, the cool thing is what I can do is I can actually find a product that can help you solve that problem that I did not create and I can actually promote that product as an affiliate. So somebody else created it, I step behind it as an affiliate. When somebody uh, generates, or excuse me, when I sell that product to somebody, I can actually generate a commission. Now the cool thing is with the World Wide Web, we can actually scale our income, right? So that way we can make $100, $200, $300 per day um, with the same amount of work, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and break down some of that stuff in a second. Now the question is, why affiliate marketing? There's a million and one ways to make money online. Why should you do affiliate marketing? First and foremost, there's no inventory. So there's no product that we actually have to have in like a warehouse or something along those lines. Things rotting away, rotting away or rats getting into our stuff. Uh, second is there's no overhead. Um, well, all right, let me step back. There's no store overhead. So meaning I don't have rent, but there are softwares and things that you may need that I'm gonna break down to you guys in a second that do have monthly. So I guess you could say there's overhead but there is no like storefront overhead. Next is there's no storefront, right? So that's kind of what I meant. You guys don't have to deal with like a storefront or anything along those lines. And you guys actually don't have to deal with customer service. The people who created that product deal with the customer service and you don't have to deal with fulfilling the products. Meaning you don't have to deal with shipping products or hiring a team to ship those products. And last but not least is high profit margins. Uh, let's just say for example, e-commerce, you have physical products I love e-commerce. There's people making a lot of money with uh, e-commerce. The only thing is, is that you have cost of goods. So if I'm selling a, a, a wallet online, right, the cost of this wallet has to be taken out of my actual profits. And one thing that I do like, right, is 
uh, that I did not mention is if you guys ever want to go out and sell your own products, this is the best business model to start with because you guys can actually learn the skill sets of selling products online. You guys can eventually pivot into selling your own stuff. And this is the perfect business model for a solopreneur. For that person who doesn't want employees, who doesn't want to deal with people. Guys, if you guys start scaling an e-commerce business, you're going to have to deal with, you're going to have to build a, t a team of people who are doing uh, affiliate, uh, not affiliate marketing, people who are fulfilling orders, people who are doing customer service. If you guys don't want to manage people and you guys want to manage systems, you guys can do that with affiliate marketing. So it could be a one man show. You guys can be making a multiple six figure uh, income. Now the question is how to get started. The first step is finding a niche. Now, what is the niche guys? A niche is basically a category. It's a sector within the marketplace. So for example, I'm just going to go to show you guys uh, one of the most famous um, affiliate marketing uh, programs, out, not programs, affiliate marketing networks out there, which is ClickBank. If I was to go to, just to give you guys an idea of different niches that you guys can get into. And the question is, how do you pick your niche? Two ways. Number one, is this something that you're passionate about? Because if you're doing something long term just for the money and you're not passionate about it, and you're not happy about the people that you're serving, there's going to be a means to an end. You're not going to want to be able to do it. You're not going to want to do it long term. And you're not going to want to pivot into selling your own products in the future, which is the ending goal. So, um, for example, are you are, are you passionate about like self help? Are you passionate about health and fitness? Are you passionate about parenting and families, uh, magic tricks, sports? Are you uh, passionate about golfing? About uh, travel, so on and so forth, guys. There's a million and one products out there. The the best thing is, is are you passionate about it? And is there a problem to be solved and a demand in the marketplace? What do I mean by that? Are people trying to lose weight? Yes, people are trying to lose weight so I can sell products helping people lose weight. Are people trying to make money? Yes, people are trying to make money so I can help people by selling them products that are going to go ahead and help them make money. Are people trying to attract the opposite sex? There's plenty of men out there who can't get women so you can teach them how to get women or vice versa. Are people trying to get more athletic, trying to jump higher? Are they trying to improve their golf swing? Are they trying to learn Spanish, learn different languages, learn how to travel on a budget, so on and so forth? If there's a problem to be solved, there is money to be made. So pick your niche, pick your category, figure out something, do your research. I'm not going to go depth in this video because it's a short video, but go online, figure out different niches, see which one clicks with you, see which one you're passionate about. And then once you do that, the next step is actually finding a product within that niche that solves a problem that you want to solve. Where are we going to go to find a product? We're going to go to find a product. You can either find a product uh, uh, like a, a, a business opportunity to where you can actually join, promote, earn if you want to be in the make money online niche or you can find uh, products online that uh, people are already using that have an affiliate program. For example, majority of the softwares and tools that I use to run my business have affiliate programs. For example, I use something called TubeBuddy to run my YouTube account. They have an affiliate program. I use an autoresponder uh, to do email marketing. They have an affiliate program. A lot of the stuff that you're already using, especially softwares, already have an affiliate program. For example, let me not let me not confuse you guys, but that's basically an example. Another way is people who have made money off of basically doing most of the work for you so that way you don't have to kind of search all over the internet. It's called an affiliate network. So the, the easiest way to find an affiliate program is by going on an affiliate network. So the top three affiliate networks that I would recommend if you're getting started, and guys, you guys can actually do this, whether it's in the US or whether it's not, this is a worldwide method, is ClickBank, right? So you guys can go on ClickBank, clickbank.com. You guys simply uh, go to clickbank.com and then you guys are gonna go ahead and create an account. They are not guaranteed to get approved for a ClickBank account, so make sure you answer those questions wisely. Uh, next is JVZoo, so JVZoo.com. Um, basically, this is a marketplace that you guys can actually uh, log in, create an account, find products that you guys can sell. JVZoo.com. I will leave this, and if you're on my blog, it'll be down below in the resources. If this is in my description, you will have access to this website down below. And next is Max Bounty. So Max Bounty. Uh, what's a little bit different guys is that max bounty is a CPA network. So you get paid per action So for example instead of getting paid to actually sell a product You're getting paid to generate a lead or to generate a specific action for this company And they're gonna do what they do on the back end But they're gonna go to pay you maybe a hundred dollars for this specific thing or maybe like twenty dollars for a lead or whatever that's worth to them 
Not gonna go into depth, but where do you find affiliate products? ClickBank, JVZoo, Max Bounty. Next, is you wanna go ahead and actually promote that product. Now guys, there's two ways and only two ways to promote products. And one thing that I wanna go to stress with you guys is that you're going to have to be making an investment regardless. The two types of investments that you're gonna have to make is number one, either time, or number two is money. So if you have a lot of money, but you don't have a lot of time, and that's why you wanna get into affiliate marketing, because let's just say you're a lawyer, or let's just say you are a high paid sales individual, that's what I was. I was making six figures. I was working 72 hours a week. So I was okay with the money, guys. I drove a Range Rover, so on and so forth, but I didn't have time freedom. If that's you, then you might want to get into paid traffic, right? Now, if you're on the opposite side to where you maybe don't have a job and you're living with your parents and you have plenty of time, but you don't have any money, then you might want to do organic traffic. So there's paid traffic and then there's organic traffic. Organic traffic is basically free traffic when you're creating content around a specific subject that people are searching for and then when people find that specific content you can then redirect that traffic to whatever you're selling so i'm going to go ahead and give you guys two examples what are the two methods that uh not the two methods whenever somebody's trying to find a problem where are the two places they're usually going to go and look the first is going to be google so for example let's just say whether i did jv zoo max bounty clickbank let's just say i decided to go to the marketplace and um, for time's sake, I'm not gonna go into extreme depth, but let's just say I went to, um, where are we, health and fitness, and I'm just gonna go to find the first one. So we find the Cinderella solution. We're gonna see what that looks like. By the way, guys, so this is a product that somebody else created called the Cinderella solution, and they have a headline, basically how one woman discovered uh, how to lose 84 uh, pounds using a simple two-step ritual that 100% guarantees shocking daily weight loss. That headline's pretty crazy, so I probably want to promote this, but to each his own. If you decided to uh, promote this, obviously people who are trying to lose weight would appeal to this. So people who would appeal to this specific product, obviously you want to watch the whole video through. Uh, one thing that I did not mention, one thing when it comes to promoting products, guys, I'm not promoting the product, even if it converts and it can make me a lot of money, if I don't believe it's gonna serve people and I don't think it's gonna help people and it's not ethical, I'm not gonna promote it. So, ethics, guys, what you put out comes back to you. So if you're selling crap, you're not gonna be able to build a long-term sustainable business. So what I would highly recommend is actually looking at these videos, looking at product reviews, seeing if they're actually good products, and then if it looks like something that's gonna go ahead and sell, and it's ethical then go ahead and actually promote it so i'm not endorsing this product but let's just say we use this product the next step i'm going to do is okay what are people going to be searching for so people are going to be searching for on google they're going to be searching um how to lose weight so basically get off the best uh whatever um so what are going to come up guys are basically blogs right so, so 12 tips to help you lose uh, weight on the, on the 12-week plan, how to lose weight in an intermittent, intermittent fasting, 10 ways to lose weight without dieting. So what I would do, for example, uh, these are the top ranked articles. I would go ahead and actually, um, 10 ways to lose weight without, uh, so I'd create a blog, I'd find other blogs that are already successful, I'd start consuming the content, and then I'd create a similar blog, right? So basically, if you look here, this blog, they can literally have links within their blog. So you create a simple WordPress blog, guys. This is, this is a free method. Yes, you have to pay maybe like $60 to create a website uh, or to get hosting. But the next step, guys, is basically you're going to be able to create this content once people are searching for it. You start ranking your content. You can redirect that traffic to your affiliate offers. Another method would be YouTube. So this is what I do. I create YouTube videos. I don't like to write. I actually have people transcribe my YouTube videos into blogs at wolvesacademy.com. I have a blog. So if you were to go to my website, you guys can actually look at Make Money Online blogs and people find those on the internet, but I don't write them. I'd rather create YouTube videos like these if somebody's trying to lose weight and they want to buy that or they're interested in that type of product or that type of solution. Look, lose weight, how to lose weight, how to lose weight. And then at the end of your videos, you can make a call to action to the links in the descriptions. And that link in the description could be your affiliate link. So one thing that I forgot to mention, what are we promoting, right? We have to get our affiliate link. So for example, uh, um, if we go to like ClickBank or JVZoo or something along those lines, what we're going to do, my internet's acting super slow right now. But we're going to go ahead and actually promote and then we're going to find a default page and then we have to put like our our name so what we're going to do guys we're going to go ahead and actually generate a hop link 
That's what ClickBank calls it. But we can earn, on average, people are earning about $38 per sale. So if I'm driving YouTube traffic, and let's just say I'm having people find my content around weight loss, I can redirect that traffic to this offer every time I generate a sale, I'll earn $38. Then all I gotta do is send them to this link right here. Now that's free methods. Um, now paid methods, right, would be things like YouTube ads, Facebook ads, uh, Google ads, so on and so forth. And I wanna go ahead and show you guys this. Now first and foremost, one thing when it comes to paid mat, paid advertisement methods is you guys are going to be investing money. So on the other side, right, you're gonna be investing time, which is creating the content, whether it's YouTube content or whether it's uh, uh, blogging content. Second would be you're gonna be investing money. So you invest much less time, but you're investing money to actually drive traffic. Now, what does affiliate ads look like? It doesn't matter what platform, this is what an affiliate ad looks like. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and actually create an ad. Once we create that ad, we're gonna go ahead and put it in front of an audience. So for example, let's just say I was using Facebook. Now this goes to Google, YouTube, Bing, Microsoft, so on and so forth. But if I was to go ahead and use, uh, create an ad, and uh, create, uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and create an audience. I'm gonna create an audience around people who are interested in what I am actually selling. So people who are interested in losing weight, or people who are interested in golf, or people who are interested in jumping higher, or people who are interested in betting systems, or people who are interested in attracting the opposite sex. I'm gonna find different audiences. For example, let's just say I was doing YouTube ads. I'm gonna go to target videos or content of people who are creating content like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and display my ads in front of their audience, because obviously if people are searching for that type of content, they're gonna be interested in what I'm selling. If they're creating weight loss content and then I create a weight loss ad and send them to my affiliate offer that's promoting a weight loss product, they're gonna be interested in buying it. Next is, okay, let's just say that's not the route. Let's just say we're gonna go ahead and do um, Facebook ads. Facebook ads, same thing. I'm gonna, people who are interested in fitness pages, weight loss pages, so on and so forth. I'm gonna go ahead and put my ads in front of those type of people. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send them to what is called a lander. It's called a landing page. Now there's two types of landing pages. Number one is a landing page where it's basically just a, a page in the middle. There's gonna be content, pre-sale content. We're not collecting any emails. And it's gonna bridge between the actual ad and the actual affiliate offer. Now, why is it important to use these lander, lander pages? Is because um, uh, advertising platforms do not like when you use direct linking. What is direct linking? You will get your advertisement account shut down or you won't get your ads approved if you just try to run ads directly to an affiliate offer. So for example, if I was to run ads directly to this affiliate offer, they're gonna shut down my ad account. So what I would do is I would put a pre-sale content or an avatorial or a landing page in front. You guys are probably like, Eric, what the f is a landing page? We're gonna go to images. So this is basically what a weight loss landing page looks like. So these are basically just pages that we're putting in front of the actual sales video. Now how to actually build it, guys, stick me to the very end of this video and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how you guys can actually build it, right? Now, um, another way, guys, is if you guys are actually collecting emails, you guys wanna build an email list, which is another form of traffic. It's traffic that you actually own. So YouTube, I don't own that traffic. Uh, Facebook, guys, I don't own that traffic. If I build an email list, I'm gonna be able to own that traffic, meaning I can send an email broadcast out to my list. So how do we build emails? This page that we're sending our traffic to, this page, this landing page, we can collect emails. Right, and then we'll send them to our affiliate offer, which is that sales video that I showed you guys. Then a percentage of those people are gonna go ahead and buy, which is gonna go ahead and be a commission. So, this is what the process looks like. Ad, we put that ad in front of an audience, we send that audience from the ad with the call to action to the landing page. We're either collecting emails or we're not collecting emails, but after the landing page, we're gonna be sending them to the affiliate offer. The whole point of a landing page is so that way, um, we don't get our ads account shut down. And then once we send people to the offer, we're gonna go ahead and generate a commission when people make a purchase. So, that's the actual ad flow. Now, with that being said, um, what tools are you gonna go to need? So if you guys do decide to actually build an email list, you're gonna need an autoresponder, which is gonna go ahead and help you with email automation. So when people actually put in their email to your landing page, you can actually follow up with them on complete autopilot 
And as you start building an email audience, you can start sending email broadcasts, which is basically like to a newsletter. You send literally an email that um, that is uh, uh, aligned with the, the topic of the products you're sending, and then you can also redirect them to your actual products. I use something called Active Campaign. This will be in the resources section, either on the blog or down below in my description. Uh, th there will be a resources section. So if you notice I have 20,000 emails, literally with the click of a button, if 10% uh, if of those people actually open the email, I have 2,000 people who open an email. Guys, imagine how powerful that is to sell products to, the, to those many people, right? That's where leverage comes in. The bigger the following, guys, it takes me 15 minutes to write an email. Whether I have 2,000 people, uh, 20,000 people or 200,000 people. It takes me the same amount of time to send an email. So the bigger you're following, the same time you're spending, you're making more money with the same amount of time. That's why the rich get rich and the poor stay poor. Because the poor don't have leverage. They're trading their time for money. Over here, I'm spending the same time. I'm just leveraging, building a bigger, following a bigger audience and selling these affiliate products. I don't know if I confused you there, but that's basically a little lesson I wanted to teach you guys and how to actually build your landing pages and pre-sale pages. Uh, I use a software called ClickFunnels. If you notice, I have 20 pages with this website, 18 pages with this website, so on and so forth. I'm not going to go to teach you guys how to actually build that. There will be in the section, if you guys want a free trial on the resources, you guys can get access to ClickFunnels. This is what I actually need. But these are resources that you're going to need to actually be able to build this stuff. Now, with that being said, um, what are things that you actually need to know? First and foremost, guys, you will not be successful overnight. I've been doing this for two years. So if you guys want to get rich quick, this isn't for you. Play the lotto. If you guys want to actually put in the work, right, you have to put in the work. Um, if you guys are willing to put in the work, then this is something that you guys should look into. Another thing is that you have to invest, guys. People think that they can make something for nothing. That is not what this is. You have to invest two things. Either you have to be willing to invest time. Guys, I've published over 300 YouTube videos. Imagine how much content I've created. I've made a multiple six-figure income, but I've put in a lot of work, a lot of time. Another thing is, is that you're going to go ahead and have to invest money. You're going to have to invest in the software, so on and so forth. If you guys want to get rich... Without investing no money, guys, go back to La La Land. It's not, it's not going to happen. And next is, guys, paid mentorship and courses will get you results much quicker and faster, which most people are going to go to do. They're going to go down in my description. They're going to get all the resources. They're going to start binge watching content on YouTube. They're going to start finding how to run ads, how to set up pre-sale pages, how to set up funnels. They're going to try to put all the pieces together when what you could do is literally go ahead and and find a mentor or invest in paid courses. So what I want to do for you, right? In the resources section, there will actually be one of my courses. I'm not going to put it at the first link. If you guys want to get access to a course that will teach you step-by-step -step how to do affiliate marketing, number one, it is an investment. But number two, uh, not only are you going to be able to promote the course, the course and earn up to $500 to $1,000 commissions, but you'll also learn a skill set That'll save you time, save you money, right? Now, if you guys um, want to actually have a mentor, right? The first link in the description, you guys can get access to, um, I'm, I'm actually mentoring a couple of people. Uh, you'll be able to hop on board with a call for myself or my team members to see if we're a good fit. You'll be able to schedule a call. And then we'll literally be able to plug you into our inner circle group. You'll be able to get access to the course content as well. And you'll have mentorship and ongoing training. So if that's something that you're interested, if you guys don't want to invest any money, this isn't for you. If you guys don't want to invest time, this isn't for you. If you want to invest time, you want to invest money, and you're more focused on getting results, you don't care about what you have to invest to get it, reach out to us if that's the type of person you are, you're willing to put in the work. Click the link down below, first link in the description. There will be a resources section as well, but the first link in the description will give you access to every, or excuse me, there's a resources section that'll give you access to everything. First thing in the description is for the mentorship, as well as the curriculum that will set you free, help you live a life of time, location, and financial freedom. So with that being said, hopefully you guys gained value from this video today. I appreciate you guys so freaking much. If you guys want to know more Make Money Online methods, if that's not your thing, there will be a video right here. And as always, Eric Ellis Jr. checking out. I will see you on the next video.